Okay, so this particular model um, is, I would say, a little bit difficult uh, because, you know, shoes have a number of uh, complexities to them, you know, the, the little fine intricacies with the laces, the inside, uh, you know, where you, where you get your, your foot inside, the back, um, you know, there's quite a lot of tread and these are heavy tread. So it's, it's, it's a medium sort of difficulty object. It's not too, too bad, really. So, um, now this particular model was taken just while it's down the floor. So both sides were not, um, uh, completed or anything. So in terms of difficulty, you know, maybe a little bit more difficult than some of the other ones that we've talked about. Maybe this is like a five, you know, a six or something like that. But, um, the quantity of photos, if we look at them, right, there's about 16 photos that reconstructed here. And you can see that, you know, that it's almost like a spiral, you know, it comes up and then it kind of goes down like that, which really I would have liked to have seen more photos at the top ring, another set of photos at a lower, uh, level kind of thing going all the way around. And I think that would have helped significantly with this particular model. Now, um, the photographs themselves, uh, if I bring those up, all right, you'll see that they, there isn't a lot of contrast on these images for some reason. And, um, you know, it could just be because it was an overcast day. Uh, here, this photo doesn't look all that crisp. So to me, that means that somebody didn't use a tripod. Um, they could have uh, held the camera a little bit more steady, or maybe, you know, they'd have to compensate by changing their settings. But of course, you know, a lot of good texture here and that sort of thing. See this image here, you can see it's just, it's not, not well focused, right? So uh, not the best. But if let's look at the settings here and see what we've got. So this is a Nikon D300 and it looks like 1 30th of a second. So it's a little bit uh, low for holding by hand. Okay, F number is 5.6. So we're losing out on the depth of field. We should have used a higher F number. And uh, the ISO rating is 200, which is okay, I guess. Um, you know, would have been better lower. So again, low ISO, high F number, and you want a uh, as fast a shutter time as possible. And if your shutter speed is such that you can't hold it by hand, use a tripod, okay, and, and take a long time or a longer sh uh, shutter speed. There's no problem with doing that. Now, we'll point out something on this particular model. Uh, if you look at this spot right here, so you'll see that there's kind of a line that goes right down here on the texture. Oh, before I do that, I'll tell you what, let me look at the, uh, let me look at the mesh before I go to the texture. So here, okay, so you see that it didn't reconstruct all that well. Uh, I'm not all that crazy about the reconstruction here. Could have been a little bit better. Um, you know, overall, it's just kind of a, a rough model. It's okay. But uh, I think there's more work that needs to be done here in order to get this to a really, really crisp state. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, some improvements to be had. So going back to this particular part here, you see some of the textures are not clear. So I think there's some depth of field and blurriness issues. And I think that could have been improved with a tripod. Here you see that we have this dark line. And that to me tells me that, oh, there we go. So here's a photograph here. When you move in, uh, when we look in the camera's view, you'll see that it's a little darker than the others. And you'll see where the line crosses. If I zoom in here, uh, that lands exactly where... Uh, this line is or this delineation is so it's a texture issue and to fix that you can actually re remove this photo from the texture series so you don't have to use all the photos um, to create the mesh anyway uh, in terms of the overall quality of this particular model it's not all that great um, I would say you know it's like uh, five and a half six uh, you know not too bad there is some mud in between here so obviously I've, I've lost some definition in the tread uh, let me just take another look. I don't want to be too unfair. Yeah, there's some mud in here, whatever. But again, I think um, there could have been some improvements here on the tread pattern. So I don't think I'm going to go much more than a six on this particular model.